This is the story of Vic Mignogna versus Monica Real and how assault charges and allegations can permanently damage a once beloved actor. To start off the story of Vic Mignogna versus Monica Real, you have to start with the release of Dragon Ball Super Broly. And for those of you that don't know, right, like Vic Mignogna, he was like the voice of the main villain of the movie, which was Broly. And so like, you know, with him being the voice of Broly, that's a lot of clout around his name, a lot of publicity, and like, he's very like, you know, in the news and media at the time, right? And right around this time, right after Dragon Ball Super Broly releasing, along came Vic Mignogna's first assault slash harassment allegations. And these allegations came in the form of like a lot of Twitter accounts alleging that like all the way since like 1989, that he had either kissed, groped, or made extremely weird and uncomfortable lewd comments to fans without their consent. And maybe some of the fans were underage. And then like right with that came like voice actors like actresses like Monica Real and Jamie Marchi and they supported them and they also like gave their own stories where they alleged that Vic Mignogna had done the same thing to them. Then Sony Pictures had opened up an investigation based on the reports by Monica Real, two female fans, and a former Funimation employee. And then a week later, Vic Mignogna was fired, and then along came Rooster Teeth, and then Funimation, and then like a lot of conventions. They basically all just removed and kind of like blacklisted his name off of a lot of the like guest list and for like work and all that. Even though it seemed like he was completely being blacklisted and, and dubbed as guilty, Vic Mignogna, he still like protested his innocence in regards to like everything that was being like put up against him and all of the allegations that were uh, going against him. So like he, he, he was basically just saying, yeah, I'm innocent. I didn't do any of that. And there's even a video of him at a panel during the same year where he issued a statement of regret slash like sorrow. And this led to a lot of fans donating to Vic Mignogna in order to help out with his attorney fees and all of his like lawyers that he's going to need in order to fight a lot of the allegations. And uh, then on February 20th, with over $262,000 raised, Vic Mignogna confirmed on Twitter he was pursuing legal action. Then he did a big, like, multi-million dollar lawsuit against Funimation, Monica Real, Marchi, and Ron Troy for defamation and Tordy's interference. And then Funimation filed a response on June 12th, 2019, denying Vic Mignogna's allegations. In those few months, you can kind of see that there was a lot of like big debate over whether or not like the allegations were true or whether this was like an industry push like with uh, Monica Real or whether or not Vic Mignogna was being framed or not, right? Because you can see like he raised over $262,000 from like, you know, fan donations and all that. But you can also see like based off like a lot of the, you know, investigations that the companies did they found Vic Mignogna like you know guilty so it was kind of like he said versus she said for a good minute and it was a lot of like heavy public like debate about whether or not it, all of this was like true or not and so those two or three months in between Vic Mignogna like firing back at Funimation and all of them for like you know defamation it was a lot of heavy debate on the floor but then like from june 12th to september 6th like the judge dismissed like seven of the 12 cases that vic mignogna had filed ruling in like the defendant's like favor and then vic mignogna was required to pay like their legal fees so it it really like kind of made it seem like he lost and then october 4th like the rest of the cases had been dismissed and Vic Mignogna also had to pay their fees and all of that. And so like it was very like kind of like showing that Vic Mignogna was guilty in a sense. It wasn't like he was ever like 
necessarily arrested or charged with anything right it was more so that he ended up just losing his job and ended up being very much so ridiculed online for the allegations that he was accused of and then it was him firing back being like hey why would y'all talk about me in this public light when i really didn't do that and then basically the judge saying like just throwing out the cases saying it's like no point in even arguing this and him not being in jail but more so just being canceled and with that pizza people i want you to let me know what you think about the case in the comment section below let me know about how you feel about the allegations let me know how it personally affects you just talk about how all of this in general like makes you feel feel free to to say your own opinions in the comment section below talk about it leave a like let me know but my name is time pizza and i will see you pizza people on the other side of the slice peace